In this demonstration I'm going to talk about how we can develop a dynamic list box. I've got a basic form here which lists courses and if I click the button here called list it brings up a list of courses as well. Now what I can do is I can click an item in the list box and on the main form behind we'll see the whole record. So we could have hundreds of items in the list box and clicking any one will take us straight to that record on the main form. So how do we do that? Okay, well if we go into form design of the main form, we have a query behind it called query courses. Now if you look at query courses, we can see that we have course ID here and course ID is the primary key. So we have to have the primary key field in our query and these are the other fields that we need for the form. Now the list box it does a similar thing. We have in here a query called query course courses and providers. And if we look at that query, we can see that we have the course ID in there as well. So that's what's making the link between the list box and the main form behind. We have to have in both our queries the course ID. And the list box also has a couple of other fields for information. Now I make the first field, the primary key field in the list box to be invisible. So I set it to zero. And I'm showing the other two fields here. We want to show three columns in the list box, but we want to make the first column invisible, the primary key. Now, if we go to the event properties of the list box, we have a bit of code on the on-click event. And all it's doing is, this is the main part of the code, all it's doing is it's picking up the primary key value of course ID from the first column in the list box. And then it's saying, set the focus to the form behind. So it sets the, the focus to the, the courses form. And then it says, move to the control called course text course ID on the main form. So it then moves to the, the control called text course ID on the main form. Now it says go and find the record using the value from the first column in our list box. Primary key being course ID. So it identifies the record on the main form and moves straight to it. And that's all there is to the code. So now if we run our forms again we can see that we can move to any record just by clicking on it, picks up the ID and moves straight to the record. And that's how we can create a dynamic list box that moves to the record behind in Microsoft Access. In this next demonstration we're going to continue on the theme of dynamic list boxes but this time we're actually going to filter the list box based on the choice in our radio button collection. So I've got a form here called library and I've got a button here which brings up a list of items within the library and it's divided into books and videos. Notice we can filter it just by clicking the radio button. If I click this one here it lists everything. So we have books, videos and all. So how do we do that? We go to form design, bring up the properties for the list box it's just got a general query called Query Library Loans Inventory. We look at that query now. Nothing spectacular, just a general query. Item ID, inventory type, product reference. We run the query. Here's our inventory type book, hardware, software, video, and this is what we're actually going to be controlling when we select an item from the radio button. And these are our products which are shown in the list box. So whenever we click a radio button, for example video, it will filter out all the video ones in our list box. In the same way if we select book, 
it will filter out all the book items in the list box. So it's basically going to be rerunning this query every time with a criteria of book or video. So now, back in our list box form, we drag on an option group which we get from the toolbox here. Just close the window here. We have our toolbox. We select an option group here, drag it onto the form, create three options book, video, and all. Now we click the the frame that's around the option group. I've called it FRA Options. We go to the event properties. We want the on click event. Bring up the code. And all it's doing is it's selecting which item you've clicked in that frame. So if we've selected item 1, which is going to be books, it's going to set the row source of the list box to that query that we just saw where the inventory type is equal to book. So it feeds some criteria to the query for book. If we select radio button 2, it runs this row source and the criteria passed in is video. If we select everything then it just runs the query on its own without any criteria. And that's all there is to the code. So we're basically populating a list box each time with a different filter, be it book, video, or just running the query on its own to show everything. So right now our row source of the query will be something like query library loans inventory and when we click that option group it will still be that query but it will be passing through a filter of book or video so now if we run it again click book query runs it passes through book in our code to the query it filters out all the books it does the same for video item 3 shows everything. So that's how we can populate our list box based on a selection from an option group.